wrestling fans, John Roberts, joined by my broadcast colleague, Matthew Thiel, the greatest mind in professional wrestling. And we are here to bring to you a very special edition of All Pro Wrestling Gym Wars here on this holiday season. John Roberts, John Roberts, today, today is Christmas Day! You didn't even say happy holidays to all the stupid people watching at home! They're the fans, man! Don't call them stupid people! Happy holidays, all pro wrestling fans! And boy, are we, have we got a great show for you today! We're gonna take a look back at the year that was, 2010, here in all pro wrestling. But before we get to that, Matt... I, Matthew. Matthew, I, I have something for you. Merry Christmas. I can see that you spent a lot of money on the wrapping job. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. And <laughs> even autographed it for me. That's, that's, I don't want it. But what? I do have something for you. Limited edition, one of a kind, high school musical cup for you to drink your juicy juice out of every morning. It's for you. Well, that's going to be perfect for me to give to my 10-year-old sister. Uh, but again, this one's for you. Maybe oh, just, just open it. Just open it. Come I'll on. open it later. I'll, I'll you didn't need to wrap my gift. I'll gear. open it later. We're going to take a look today at the Super Summer Series from the summer of 2010. A couple of great highlights for you from the very first day of that Super Summer Series brought to you by the original commentary team of Marcus Matt and Jason Anderson. That's right, folks, and we're going to go to that right now. So enjoy the beginning of this look back at the year that was 2010 in all pro wrestling. Oh, big neck breaker there by Rick Luxury. Rick's been on a hot, bit of a hot streak since breaking off from MPT, going for the cover. Very successful with MPT, but since that tag team broke up after they lost to the scum, Rick has really focused on singles competition, and he's been doing well so far, which my partner Marcus Mack will be quick to point out. Marcus getting in a shot there while Sparky Ballard's back was turned, and Dylan's going after him. Oh, and Luxury drives that elbow into the back of the skull of Dylan Drake. Fans voicing their disapproval here. Oh, but Dylan comes back. A couple nice shots in the midsection. Oh, but Rick rakes the eyes. Slowing down any momentum there by Dylan Drake. Fans starting to get behind Dylan Drake. Nice scoop slam there by Luxury. Fans, be sure to follow us at Twitter, twitter.com slash allprowrestling for all your latest updates on everything APW. Up, oh, Rick went for that knee. He missed it. Drake comes back with a kick in the midsection. Scoop slam of his own. Still feeling the effects of that kick. Oh, but he drops a big right leg down on Luxury. One. Two, Luxury able to kick out of that leg drop. The fans letting him have it here. Oh, nice forearm shot there by Dylan Drake. Maybe looking for a superplex up. Rick Luxury fighting back. Coming off the second rope. Oh, Dylan caught him. He's looking to lock in that beta breakers. Flip him over. He's got Rick in the middle of the ring. Nowhere to go. And Rick's tapping out. Rick Luxury went off the mid rope to no avail. Dylan Drake locks in the beta breakers and secures 20 points in the first matchup of the Super Summer Series here. This match means a lot to Jody. These two men have had quite the feud going recently. Vinny Massaro almost ending Jody's life by putting a bag over his head. Jody on the we get the cover there. And this goes back to when Dave Dutra beat Vinny Massaro after Jody stuck up for Dave. And Vin, while Vinny was attacking him, Dave Dutra and Vinny Massaro had a strap match. Dutra came out the victor. And after that match was over, he let Jody get a few licks in on Vinny. And Vinny has never seemed to forget it. And you know these two have been dying to get their hands on one another, Marcus. Well, you know what? Vinny Massaro has been dying to get his hands on Jody Christopherson. And you know what? It looks like he's going to get his hands on. You know, he's throwing him out right out there into the zoo, right into the war zone. Jody Christopherson, 
Welcome to the war zone, a, a place here in the garage that Vinny Massaro helped make famous back here in the old days of all pro wrestling, back in the original. Vinny Massaro is still a young man, but has been competing since he was a very young, young kid. 16, 17 years old, he came to all pro wrestling. He made that war zone famous back in the late 90s with wrestlers like Vic Grimes. Trust me, I know. I used to steal cars and sit in the front row. I know all about Vinny Massaro, and I hope he puts one of those chairs. That's it. Right into the wall, which used to be a toy box for Vic Grimes. Tear him apart, Vinny Massaro. Vinny Massaro, th this is his world right here, as Marcus pointed out. I mean, and another a veteran move there by Vinny Massaro, getting into the ring just enough to extend that 10 count. This is where he's going to do his damage. Uh, uh, they're, they're going outside right now, Marcus. I, I don't like this right now. I don't like this one bit. What's going on out there? I wish I could see what Vinny Massaro... There is no way Jody Christopherson is coming back from this one. You can go ahead. He's probably got him tied to the hood of his car out there. And Vinny Massaro is definitely going to pick up a win here. Oh! Jody driving Vinny into the concrete wall. Runs back into the ring. Wait a minute. That's a 10 count. That's a, that, 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 that was uncalled for. What do you mean he threw him, man? First under the wall outside. That should have been a blatant disqualification. Vinny Massaro getting a dose of his own medicine by Jody Christofferson. This crowd is very split right now, Marcus. Both these men, huge fan favorites in the APW garage. They're both huge fan favorites. I'll give them that. But, you know, Double D, Dave Tutra, I got it. I think he has more people out here supporting him than Mr. Wrestling Number 4, as popular as he is, Mr. Wrestling 4. He's from Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Double D, Dave Dutry from Saratoga, California. More people, more hometown advantage here for Double D, Dave Dutra. Look at the great, I'm not going to, I'm not discrediting either one of these wrestlers. They're both fine athletes. They're both really good, you know, but they're not Rick Luxury. Oh, another nice European by Mr. Wrestling number four. They're going to whip Dutra into the ropes. Dutra counters. Double and nothing countered. Forearm, right hand, forearm. And a headbutt right on the money by Mr. Wrestling number four. Oh, Dutra comes back with a forearm shot of his own, rocking Mr. Wrestling number four. What the hell? Rocking each other. I don't care. I hope they kill each other. Oh, both men exchanging knife edge chops in the center of the ring. Another nice European uppercut by Mr. Wrestling number four. Both men a little wobbly. Time is running down, Marcus. It's probably getting close to the 10-minute mark here. Somebody needs to pull something off if they want to get 20 points and be tied with Dylan Drake. Wait a minute. It's, so what you're saying is, is it's five points if, if, if you reach a time limit ex extension here. If you reach the time, the time limit draw, it's only five. Well, then that's what we... I just want to see these two guys. You know what? These two guys, I, I, need, I need them to, to beat the hell out of each other for the next five, five, six minutes. How many minutes are left in the time limit here, Jason? Well, I think we're only about less than two minutes, Marcus, till that time goes goes off. Because when I arrive, I I bring the fire, make you come alive. I can take you higher. What the sense for God? I must now remind. Mr. Wrestling number four, heads up move here, locking in the submission maneuver, really pounding down on that injured left knee of Dave Dutra right now. Oh, that knee is hurt. Oh, did he give up? No. Don't tell me he gave Did he get? He don't tell me he gave up. No. Yes. Yes, it's a time limit draw, Jason Anderson. You know what that means? There are only five. Two of these competitors in, the, in bracket A of the tournament are only five points ahead of wrestling personified Rick Luxury. We can do it. Ricky, baby, we can still do it, Daddy. And Derek Sanders. Both men, uh, seems like they're complaining about some of the rules right now. Uh, we both know these guys don't exactly follow them to the T. So it'll be interesting to see what goes on here. But... Both men arguing about their hair being pulled. The Sparky Ballard and Derek Sanders capitalized, sending Timothy Thatcher down to the mat. And Sanders letting Thatcher know who the boss is. And you see young Will Rude outside in the corner of the boss, Derek Sanders. There's still so much to be told about what's going on there. I tried to talk to Will. He's not returning any calls. Who knows what's going on with this young man.
But it seems like Derek Sanders has him wrapped around his finger right now. And the boss. Nice right hand there. Sending Thatcher back down to the mat. Derek Sanders bringing Thatcher back up to his feet right now. Another nice shot. Oh, but Thatcher answers back with a nice European uppercut. Oh, Thatcher driving that head into the midsection of the boss. And he answers back with a nice European uppercut again. Now kicking Sanders right down in the midsection. And Thatcher letting the APW fans know that he does not really care about what they think. Oh, look at this. Standing on the chest of the boss right now is Thatcher. Sparky Ballard telling him to break. He has up to five, though. Sending that head of Sanders into the top turnbuckle. Nice European. Thatcher going off the corner there. Coming back. Oh! Runs into the boot of the boss right there. Sanders up. Oh, cover. Sanders had both feet on the top rope. Sparky Ballard caught that. Trying to get a little unfair advantage with the leverage up. Oh, nice roll up here. Thatcher grabbing the tights. Caught again by Sparky Ballard. Oh, now Sanders roll up. He had a handful of tights. Sparky Ballard did not see it that time. And the boss, Derek Sanders, takes home the victory. And 20 points. Luxury's wrist down on the mat. We're off the ropes. Oh, but Luxury hits a nice drop kick there. Cover one, two, two count only. Rick Luxury having a little problem with Sparky Ballard's counts here. It's thrusting forward back up to his feet. And again, Luxury. Working for in the corner. Whips him in. Up four. Oh! The calf shot to the forehead. And comes back with a couple nice right hands. Oh, Luxury turns four back into the rope. Oh! Marcus Mack tripped up. Rick Luxury, Miss Wrestling 4 hit the million dollar knee lift and secured the victory at 20 points. What's this? Derek Sanders yelling at Will Rude to choke out Jody Christopherson on that bottom rope. Will not having any of it there, Marcus. Well, you know, I know Will Rude. I know Jody Christopherson. You know, I watched these two kids as prospects here when they first came to the boot camp here in all pro wrestling. They do go back a long way, you know. They were both here in the APW boot camp. They came up the ranks together. They trained together, you know, and maybe that's what's uh But you know what? You need to put all that personal stuff aside. Once you be, once you debut here, Pretty Willie, come on now. Go do it. Do like it's old, man, and just, and just go ahead and stick with the boss because, you know, there's only one way to get ahead in, in the ranks of all pro wrestling. Chris Austin with a roll up. Again, Derek Sanders yelling at Will Rude to choke out Jody Christopherson and will not listen to the boss right now. Uh, the, the verbal. Hey, well, he needs to do uh, that. You know, it's called Watch top out here. No. Big spear by Jody Christopherson. No. Looks to like kick one, out, kick two, out, kick out, kick out, three. God. Massaro using his leverage right now on Thatcher. Thatcher back up to his feet. Massaro still holding on to that left arm. That's what What's makes he doing it so here? pretty. Oh! He just sidewalk slammed him right onto his arm. I've never seen that done before. Vinny Massaro is the innovator of professional wrestling. He's been called that in the past, and he continues to amaze me. Vinny Massaro is like watching a video game. It's almost unreal, the moves that this guy pulls out. Uh, Massaro runs into the boot of Thatcher. Thatcher going off that mid-rope, diving European uppercut there. But he didn't get all of it, and with his arm in that condition, he's not going to be able to hook a leg that well. You see him favoring the arm. Timothy Thatcher, one of my favorite guys in the world. But come on, Timmy. You, you got you to gotta look past this, and you got to figure out different ways. You got to use your mind. Mind over matter, baby. Thatcher working Vinny in the corner here. Going off the other corner again. This didn't work out well from last time. Oh, successful now. Vinny Massaro apparently did not pay attention to what happened in the last match with Derek Sanders. 
Massaro really feeling the effects from that shot. Oh, and another European uppercut But there. he didn't get him good, and I know Vinny Massaro seen roaring elbow. You can count to 100. One, two, three, your winner, the nice guy, Vinny Massaro. Do you have what it takes to become a pro wrestler? The APW Bootcamp Training School is accepting applicants for pro wrestlers, managers, valets, and referees. All Pro Wrestling Home APW Bootcamp is where future legends are born. For the last 19 years, APW has been the leader in talent development. Top graduates include The Great Khali, Crash Holly, Spike Dudley, and Alyssa Flash. For your free brochure, call us at 510-785-8396. They say that the holidays are a time for family. And as strange as this family may be, we are still family. And today I brought you together. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but you guys didn't tell me where you were getting together today. Good thing I followed Larry. Good thing I followed Blackwell. Uh, I've never been to a Christmas party before, so thanks, thanks for having me. In anticipation to your arrival, I have something for you too. But first things first, darkness, if you please. Black love. I think this is accomplishes much of the curiosity that we can see in that news. How much am I here to it? And Omega, all those months ago when you lost your mask. Many people have said that you couldn't get the job done, but I blame the fans. I blame the fans for putting the pressure solely on your shoulders. Today, you earned your mask. So darkness, I think this needs no reduction. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, I'm ready. You back you. The most special gift of all. You back me. Got a puppy. 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 Oh, but it, puppy. It's dead! You back you. How else would you like it? Puppy. Merry Christmas, everybody! And Jekylls, I haven't forgotten about you. Here's a gift for you as well. But first, you have to come join the family. And we're back, all pro wrestling fans. John Roberts and Matthew Thiel here. And why so glum, Matt? Why, why, why did so you, Did you see? Did you? Did you see what, what that, did you just see that? Well, we did just see that. Cor no, Cor Corvus is obviously trying to embarrass me by sending in that footage to be broadcast in front of all the people that watch this show. I, I thought it was pretty funny. I mean, I'm, I'm, sorry, I, you got, I'm no. sorry you got a dog head for Christmas, but. It's disgusting is what is it. You know, I have some quick something to say to Corvus. Corvus, listen up, man. Listen up. My bond with Blackwell is like steel, okay? No one's ever gonna come between us, not you and your creepy family, that's for sure. 
right? Uh, I know you rejected the gift I had for you earlier, but I think I, I have another gift for you, and if you'll permit me, I think this will help you fit in better with Corvus's family. There's some eyeliner for you. Oh, you know what? I have another gift for you, too. They were out of Jonas Brothers magnets, so here's some High School Musical ones. Again, my sister thanks you for, for another beautiful present. Here's the, the other one. You should go ahead and open that. I mean, I took the time to actually have it wrapped. So. After what you just saw, you think I want to open any more gifts? You, I know, I, okay, I'm not a Grinch, okay? I love Christmas. I absolutely love Christmas, but this, this, this has got to stop. We need to move on. What is the next thing that we're going to see? Well, the next thing we're going to see is day two of the Super Summer Series from earlier this year in All Pro Wrestling, and it's going to feature on commentary, Marcus Mack, and this time he's going to be joined by John LaRocca. As you see right now, Bracket 8 leading right now in the pack, Mr. Wrestling 4 with 25 points. Dylan Drake just trailing with 20. And your man, Marcus, with that, a big goose egg right now. He may have a goose egg, but you know what? Right now, Johnny, we're not focused on winning this tournament. What we're focused on is going out there and making work of Dave Dutra. He is the reigning APW Worldwide Internet Champion, and we know that if Rick can pick up a big win there, that's got to be championship call. And in bracket B, big country, Jordan Christopherson with 35 points. Trailing him is the boss, Derek Sanders with 20. Also tied with 20 is the nice guy, Vinny Masaro. Tonight, their, ma their match could be a very important one in this tournament. Thatcher, along with Rick Ludry, has a goose egg. Johnny, you know, why are you trying to be smart and pull games here? Do not worry. I don't want to get thrown off the air. Last week, it almost happened. Let's get this show underway. All right, fans, here we go. It's about out of it. Dutra, uh, Dylan the Gill, the nice drop kick, perfectly executed. Dylan Drake has one of the best drop kicks, drop kicks in APW. Right? Here he goes. Now, now he's going for, it looks like a back suplex. No, drops him down that, that back breaker. What an innovative move. I have never seen anybody pick someone up for an atomic drop and drop them right down on their knee like that. I got to give Dylan Drake his props on that one. It's a very innovative move. Uh, it's a move that actually hasn't been done in a long, long time. It's a very, a very big move, move in England. Uh, per perfected by Billy Robinson. Uh, Dylan now up to the top rope. I think he's going for that flying cross body, Johnny. Here he goes. He hits it. Oh, but, but oh, Dutra rolls through. His shoulder, too is up. His shoulder is up. Too close to the ropes. Too close to the and, and Dylan really, really hit that ribs. Oh, look, he's just grabbing the pain. Dutra really needs to take advantage of it. I don't know if he can with that injured, injured leg of his. What a matchup here. This is just the opening matchup on today's episode of All Pro Wrestling in the Super Summer Series. Oh, we got a stacked show for you this week. Anybody who tunes out, they're not cheating themselves. They're cheating themselves. Dutra throwing some elbows into that rib cage. Dylan needs to go right to work on that knee. I know he lost a little focus there with his rib injury, but he's a go focus. The time is running out here. It's getting close to that time limit. Dylan with the whip in, going for the big splash in the corner. But Dutra, Dutra rolls out of it. Our camera wasn't on that right there. Dutra goes in for a double knee, and he connects. Oh, right in those ribs. His ribs are right into the turnbuckle. Double Doing D it. with the double knees. You know, but how smart was that maneuver, Johnny? If your knee is banged up and messed up, why would you use that? Why would you do something like that? That shows the inexperience of, of Dave Dutra. I think you have to agree. Well, sometimes, you know, you do moves as Steve. That's one of Dutra's main repertoire moves. He does it in all his matches. One of his go-to moves. One, two, Dylan kicks out, but... Unfortunately, it might have cost him with the you hit that bad knee on the back of Dylan. But Dylan went crashed that turnbuckle, and of course, as we've seen in this matchup, his ribs are not 100%. Hey, we only got about a minute left. I hope these two just beat the crap out of each other right here, Johnny, because, you know, the longer this goes, the better it goes for Pink Mink Inc., baby. Both men exchanging forearms here. Oh, they both been exhausted. It's about 98 degrees right here in the, in the Opera Wrestling Garage. Dylan goes for the sharp, sharp the beta breaker. Oh, but Dutra get the ropes fighting. Oh, big elbow by Dave Dutra. Dutra going for the ropes. Sunset flip. He has a moment. Dude, Dylan runs through it. Beta breaker. Beta breaker, Johnny. It's locked on. He's His, knee ain't, gonna, his knee ain't going to hold up. His knee is not going to hold up. Dylan has the beta breaker locked right in the center of the ring. The time is running out. 
Can Dutra hold on? Can Dutra hold on? Can Dylan score 20 points? No! No! no. The tournament has expired yeah. now, but he has it in this week. He has the British Messiah, Timothy Thatcher. He may get lucky here, Johnny, because look at Timothy Thatcher. He's favoring that arm. As you said, it was injured last week with Vinny Massaro. Vinny worked that arm for the whole entire contest and picked up a win over Timothy Thatcher. Oh, beautiful butterfly suplex by Big Country Jordan Sharks. I don't think I'm more shocked that actually Timothy Thatcher has zero points in this tournament. Actually, he was uh, my early on pick to uh, actually win bracket B. Um, he was a dominant champion in 2009 for the Worldwide Internet title, and I thought he was just on his way to a universal title shot. Of course, here he is trying to play spoiler. And then Jody goes for that spear, runs right into the corner. Jody injured his left shoulder there. Sparky Ballard checking in on him. Oh, that's nothing but a steel beam right there, Johnny. He just ran shoulder first. 255 pounds running right into that, that, that steel post right there. You know, Johnny, that had to hurt. And the one man you don't want to have your arm injured with is with Timmy Thatcher, known for that Thatcher stretch. That's to put that arm in the back of his head and just stretch you out, rip that shoulder blade out. And now look at Thatcher going to work. He's injured, but now he's he's like a shark in water. Look, look at nice move here, focusing on that left arm. Jody trying to get some uh, get some blood back in there. Get Sparky goes for the cover. Thatcher also trying to get some of that loose tape off. I'm glad he threw that out of the ring. He didn't try to use advantage. Sparky telling him to get that out of the ring. Now look at look at look at that. Use it as an advantage. What are you talking? Timothy Thatcher is one of the most honest sportsmanlike athletes competing in the United States or in professional wrestling today. In my opinion, he is one of the best wrestlers, but I've seen him do some underhanded tactics before. And then look at this. Now Thatcher, look at bending that arm. He turns that in. Maybe he's going for a Kimura lock here, but no. Oh, it looks like it's gonna snap, Johnny. Jody grabs a rope. You go for the cover here. Maybe too close to ropes. That's some inexperience there by Jody. Thatcher kicks out. Thatcher holding that elbow. That elbow's badly injured. Of course, Thatcher looking to be the spoiler here. And knock off. Uh, if, Jody, if Jody gets a victory here, he becomes a clean, clean cut winner of bracket B. Jody going for it. The torture rack has him up. But Thatcher reverses out of it. Oh. Knee breaker to the shoulder. There it is, the Thatcher stretch. He has it locked on. Jody taps out. Jody. Timmy Thatcher with 20 points here in the Super Summer Series. Take it out and Rick Luxury from behind, tacking Dave Dutra right before the bell, taking advantage of Dutra's injured knee. Now goes to work on the back elbow to the back of the head. And look at Luxury going to work right on that knee. Dutra 
Of course, padded that knee up because he's that extra protection, but I don't know. He suffered a, a serious knee injury in that first match with Mr. Wrestling number four, and of course, the injury got worse in his match with Dylan Drake earlier today. Dutra trying to stay away from Rick Luxury, but you can't go too far. Tom Caster, senior official here in All Pro Wrestling, asking Dutra if he wants to continue. Dutra says, yeah. Dutra knows, hey, he might be only 10 points here, but he can, oh, nice, Dutra jumping on that good leg. Oh, beautiful. Dutra, what an athlete this kid is. Yeah, he's only he's only about 50%. Oh, but he goes right back to that knee. Sets it up on the rope. Of course, we saw this backfire on Dylan Drake earlier, but Luxury having success with this move. Referee getting the count. Luxury going for it again, but Dutra pushes him off. Luxury goes to the floor. Luxury took a spill right out, almost hit his head on that on that table out there. Of course, here at the EBW Garage, not much space out there. There's a dangerous to be back there. Dutra with the shoulder tackle. Has him set up. Spinning neck breaker. Oh, innovative move by, by Dave Dutra. He's a rolling off of the cover, but Dutra slow on his feet. Right hand by Dutra. Now Dutra trying to get a better advantage from being attacked earlier. Luxury blocks that right. Dutra goes trying to go for a double or nothing. He has it locked in. But do oh, luxury sweeps that leg. And he got it. big backbreaker. That's his move. Double D's out. One, two, three, and Rick Luxury leads a Super Summer Series, making a big impression. Look at the boss, Derek Sanders, doing his uh, cow say. Oh, big shot by Vinny Masaro. Vinny Masaro is all business. He likes to clown around every once in a while, but I would not want to upset. Vinny Massaro in the ring. Oh no, you cannot take Vinny Massaro lightly. No way, no how. Vinny Massaro is a very, very, very sick individual, and that's his favorite place to fight. Outside of the ring, and Derek Sanders, he better regroup with Pretty Willie, and he better be get back in that ring before Vinny comes after him and teaches him what the war zone is all about. Yeah, Willie. Uh, I don't like that name, Willie Rude. I mean, we, we pretty, pretty Willie, make him pay Will. What a debut. You have to admit it, Johnny. I, you, I see the smile. You love him, don't you? I do. I don't know what's going on with Will Root. I hope he talks to someone. Oh, look at Vinny Massaro playing a game, trying to upset the boss. Vinny Massaro, a master psychologist when it comes to pro wrestling. He knows how to get under your skin, get you upset, make a mistake. This is all Vinny Massaro right here. This is the best Vinny Massaro we've seen in a long time. Massaro telling the referee Matty Banks to back up Derek Sanders. Trying to bring Derek, trying to bring, oh, nice big right hand by Vinny Massaro. The fans, I can't believe the fans are actually getting behind Vinny Massaro. I guess they just hate the boss, Derek Sanders, that much. Goes for the cover, too close to the ropes, and Will, Will put the foot on Rose probably by direction. No, all he did, all he did was he's, he pointed out to the official that Derek Sanders got his foot on the rope. That is, that is a very, uh, very good, very good Will Root. Well, I'm sure the boss put him up to it. Derek tries to go up and over. Vinny catches a back suplex, holds him up for the pin. One, two. The boss gets his shoulder up. What do you mean? No, the Vinny Masaro just picked up the win. Vinny Masaro victorious here. I knew he was going to win, and he's going to get his hands on Jody Christopherson. Finally, he's going to get his hands on. What? The no boss, way. Wait the a boss minute. got his shoulder up. Dylan going to have the power advantage, obviously, in this matchup. Much bigger man. Uh, Mr. Wrestling 4, probably the uh, the best when it comes to the scientific wrestling. He's known to take advantage of holds and, and weasel his way, or wiggle his way, I should say, into gaining Weasel it. I think weasel fits him a little bit better. I think you said it best right there, Johnny. I meant that in a positive way. Of course, you want to spin it in a negative way, Mr. Marcus Mack. Of course, I know you're still beaming for your... Look at that. He just stopped Dylan Drake on the foot. Legal maneuver. The flat of foot is a legal kick. One thing, Johnny, you do have to take into account here is that Dylan Drake doesn't have to worry about any travel time. Dylan Drake, a San Francisco resident. Whereas Mr. Wrestling number four, this guy, he comes in all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. That He's, he's got to be facing the jet lag. Even if it is just a few hours, he's not waking up at home and driving over here and not being on a regular schedule of training the way Dylan Drake can prepare for this match. He has to worry about that four-hour flight from Atlanta to SFO. Well, I'm, yeah, you, there's some merit to that point, but you got to understand, Mr. Wrestling 4, he comes in early, though, Marcus Mack. He comes in a few days early, stays at the Ramada. He uh, gets his uh, favorite room there. He always uh, People love him over there. He has his own personal gym there. Mr. Wrestling number 4, one of the best in all pro wrestling today. A lot of people are surprised he hasn't won a championship yet in APEW, but uh, 
many predicting sometime in this, in this future that he's going to probably hold some gold. And he wants to hold the APW Universal Heavyweight Championship. Of course, to do that, he has to go through Dylan Drake and then the boss, Derek Sanders, next week. And he goes for the cover. Kick out. Kick out by Mr. Wrestling number four. What Dylan should have done is he should have put in a few extra shots. He should have applied maybe an elbow drop or a knee drop. There, see, too little, too late. If he would have done that right before that, Johnny, and then gone for the cover, he may have had him. Oh, you're right. And then look, look at four trying to go for a cradle here. One, two. I thought he was going to go some kind of of abdominal stretch type of move to work on those ribs. Dylan, low kick there, right in the solar plexus. Whips Mr. Russell four into the corner. Goes for that splash. Oh, again, misses and goes crashing once again right into those ribs. That splash came all the way out of the 415, but unfortunately, sorry, operator, there was nobody home. Number four, headbutt. And it's setting up again for not all oh, right in those ribs. Mr. Rusty Ford drives that head, that forehead, right into the ribs and right into the head. Both men pull out all the stops here in the last match of Bracket A of the Super Summer Series. Number four, heading up to the second rope here. Probably going for a, yep, a headbutt. Oh, right there on the shoulder. He probably, maybe if he probably properly paced, would put that in the ribs area. Maybe he would have done a little more damage, but still effective move. And God. Number four, here he goes with a million dollar knee lift. But Dillard versus locks it oh, in. Beta He's trying breaker. to go for the beta breaker. He's got him. He has to put that He's leg over. He's got him, Johnny. If he rolls him over, that's it. That's it. We've got Mr. Four great at holding it back, but no. Locks it on. Oh, he's got Dylan him. Dylan Drake has it locked on right in the center of the ring. Number four. Oh, look how deep he's sitting down with that beta breaker. Dylan Drake sees victory in his hands right now, but number four is fighting his way up. Number four is fighting his way up. Can he get to the roast, Marcus? Can he get to the roast? He's not going to make it, Johnny. He's not going to make it. No, I told you. Number four submits. Dropping it down hard. One, two, kick out. I have never seen anything like that before. Wow. Wow, it's all I can say. This match is taking my breath away. What a great matchup on display here on all pro wrestling gym boards. All Pro Wrestling Gym Wars on the Bay Area's KMTY TV 50 Digital 199 and KATV 14 Digital 195 in the Central Valley. We'll see you Saturday morning at 11 a.m. for All Pro Wrestling Gym Wars. Okay, I think, I think, I think I'm okay. I'm over. Like I said, I'm not a Grinch. This year I actually opened a new charity. Wait, well, what was that charity? What was it for? The, the Society for Keeping, Keeping Idiots Out of Gym Wars. You better not be referring to the fans as idiot again, Matt. If you're referring to the fans as idiots again, there's. I'm gonna be getting more hate mail, which I don't want to get, and I'm sure your office is full of hate mail already. So <laughs> well, it keeps my house warm. That hate mail. I don't care about that. Well, well, Matt, it's the spirit of giving it. Please, just let me give this to you, please. In the spirit of giving and in the season of giving, please accept my gift. All right. Hold this. Don't scratch it. Careful. My name is Matthew, by the way, not Matt. I... I got a text message from Larry Blackwell, and it said, uh, you needed to get a clue. So... Well, my broadcast colleague has left, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, folks, to conclude this show, we've got a great look at day three of the Super Summer Series, which features the boss, Derek Sanders, taking on Dylan Drake, where the winner received a title shot against then All Pro Wrestling Universal Heavyweight Champion, Jekylls the Jester. Tom Caster making Derek Sanders get back into the ring here and get this match underway. You can tell that the boss wants no part of Dylan Drake. Oh, big kick to the gut there by the boss. He and went, a forearm to the back sends Drake down to the mat. He went right for the ribs and he knows what he's doing. Dylan Drake is a hurt man. He has an injury, a sustained injury, and Derek Sanders is going to take the best advantage he can of it. That's right. You are the boss. Tell him, let him know, but don't showboat too much. You got to stay on top of Dylan Drake. Oh, Drake counters. 
Looking for the beta breakers early in this matchup. It's too early. You see those legs are like redwoods. He kicked them right off and just planted that foot right into the back of Dylan Drake. Dylan Drake being scooped back up and a knee will face him right in them ribs. Fans, say what you will about the boss. He is a savvy ring veteran. Been in APW for over six years. He knows the ins and out of this ring. Oh, Drake comes back with a big crossbody, but that injury, Marcus, as you see there, feeling the effects of it after that. It looked like he thought midair that he he knew we he knew what he was going for. He had it scouted to do something. He went midair and tried to tried to change that decision. He knew it was going to take a lot out of him. Not a wise move by Dylan Drake. These ribs may affect a lot of the high aerial maneuvers that Drake pulls off, like those cross bodies up, up and over. Nice arm drag there by the former ABW champ. He got him good with that drop kick too. Sanders out on the floor now. Senior official Tom Caster telling Drake to stay in that neutral corner. And you see, this is where Will would come in. Will could be there to hand him a, a bottle of water. This is where, you know, this is what. Uh, oh, kick to the gut by Dylan Drake. And these two men are starting to fight outside. Hey, that was a closed fist official. The history between these two men has been building up for months. A lot of bad blood. Mark says, you pointed out, started with that sexiest wrestler. The ego of Derek Sanders could not take, and that is what's really fueled this feud. And look, the small of the back being crushed right up against the side of the ring. Nothing but steel support beam right there, folks. And they are brawling right through the war zone. Derek Sanders looks like he's going to pick him up. Oh, and he drove him into the back one more time. Senior official Tom Caster telling the boss to get back in the ring. And there's that ring savvy of the, of the boss right there, Marcus. That's yeah, said, baby. Break the count and go right back to work. Eric Sanders is one smart cookie, let me tell you something. Going for recovery here. Referee is completely out of proportion. Where was he? That would have been a three count for sure if the senior official Tom Caster was on top of his game. The boss utilizing these body scissors here right now. Wrapping his legs around Drake, really putting the pressure on those injured ribs. And he's doing a good job of keeping him planted right in the middle of the ring. He needs to keep him away from those ropes. Oh, and the boss getting a little leverage there. Oh, he was just stretching out. That's all. He wasn't doing no kind of added leverage. The boss was stretching out. I think he had a kink in his back. He has a. Uh, here he goes again. Letting go just before senior official Tom Caster can catch him. Caster knows what he's up to right now. Well, Jason, if you weren't playing footsie with me under the table, maybe I would have seen something like that. I wasn't able to, you know. There, there we go again. Here's the count. Tom Caster. The referee telling the boss to break that hold or risk disqualification and risk not getting that APW title shot. Well, that time maybe he did use a little bit of added leverage from the ropes, but he had a five count. Single offensive of Tom Caster on him. He took the best advantage of that count as, as he saw. Sunset flip by Dylan Drake. Oh, but the boss had that move he played, scouted. He needs to hook the leg. He needs to hook that leg back a little further. He could have had him. Very exciting time right now for the APW fans in this garage, getting behind Dylan Drake, and Drake again fights back. But there we go, the boss, that ring savvy, staying right on top of Drake, not giving him one inch. Here's another cover, one, two. And Drake kicks out yet again. And still steady talking trash to Dylan Drake. He's gonna whip him right out, right through the ropes, right into the war zone. Dylan Drake has got to be in pain. You may be the boss, Derek, but you need to go out there and stay on top of him. Do not let that man catch his breath. He's laying right now on the cold concrete floor. Take advantage of it. Take advantage of it, Derek Sanders. you got to wonder how much both these men have left in the take. After going through all these great competitors in APW to get to the Super Summer Series final, they've gone through the best of the best to get here, and they may be spent. It's going to come down to who wants it more, who has more heart, and who really wants to be an APW Universal Heavyweight Champion. And Dylan Drake slams the boss down to that concrete floor, Marcus. There is no give right there. That is the war zone. If you, Oh, my God. Come on, De come on, Derek. Get up. 
Dylan Drake may be able to finally turn the tide in this matchup. Getting the boss back into the ring now. But you can see Drake still wavering from that injured, that injured rib. Applying more, more and more to the ribs. He's going to pick him up for a big time souffle. Oh, and the boss brings Drake back into the ring. One, two, another two count. I thought he had him right there for sure. I was going to get the champagne bottle ready, man. Dylan Drake, despite all the pain from that rib injury, is still able to kick out of that. Here's the counter. Belly to belly. But he isn't hooking the leg. Jason, he's not hooking the leg. Dylan Drake able to hit that belly to belly suplex. But how much does he have left in the tank again, fans? Dylan Drake is one of the finest wrestlers in professional wrestling today. You've seen that drop kick right on the money, right on the chin of Derek Sanders. And he's going up top. Is he going to go for the big leg drop off that second rope? Leg lariat off the second rope, and I know what he's going for now. He's setting him up. He's going to go for that flying cross body. Shades of Ricky the Dragon Steam, but one of the prettiest flying cross bodies I've ever seen in my life. I'm taking nothing away from this man. But again, if he hits that, it's going to be over. It's going to be over if he hit. Ho, 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 There is no getting up from. His ribs have got to be broken. Nobody home for that big flying cross body. The boss had that move scouted, bringing Drake back up to his feet now. He looked nice like, counter. He looked like he's beta breaker. He's, if he's going to, oh, don't. Derek, do not allow him to roll you over. Drake has this locked in, but can he turn over the boss? He has him in the middle of the ring. Nowhere to go for the boss right now, Marcus. That's going to be it. I can't. Is he going to be able to fight out? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think. I think this is it. The boss is in the middle of the ring here. He's trying to crawl and get to those ropes. It's his only hope right now. Drake is sitting down on that beta breaker, really inflicting as much pain as possible, but the boss He's inching his way. Crawl. He's inching. He's got it. He's got it, Jason. That referee needs to break that hold. Dylan Drake forced to break the hold. Both men on the mat right now. Who's going to get back up first? Both men on borrowed time in there. What a matchup. This is what APW Wrestling is all about. This is what the Super Summer Series is all about. Oh, Northern Lights. One, two. A two count. And oh. the boss still cannot believe it. What do you mean? He hit him with a Northern, Northern Lights suplex. How could he have kicked out from that after all of that? The boss is seething right now. What does he have to do to put Drake away? Up, oh, top rope. Oh, oh we can see a superplex here, Marcus. That's what it looks like, but you never know what the boss, he might just go. You're right, he's going for the superplex. Oh, but Drake fights back, knowing what's coming. He has him set up for that flying cross body right now. Oh, and Drake hits it. Wait, he rolled through. He rolled through. A handful of tights. One, two. He got him! He got him! The boss, baby! <laughs> you, Santa Claus? Yes, yes, what Santa you Claus, so Santa good. Claus, Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus, you know what I want for Christmas? You know what I would really like? I would like another oh so big and purple belt. Yes, 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 an oh so big and purple belt. Yes, 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 yes. And, you know, it would be nice too to also get another oh so shiny gold belt, like like the Universal title. You know, I had that one. About the one that's in Japan. Ooh, yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I would love that. Yes. And let's see, what else would I like? Um, maybe maybe my own purple spotlight. Ooh, yes, my own purple maybe spotlight. Maybe Santa can bring you a makeover Ooh. for KH. Ooh. <laughs> Freckles? No, huh? no, 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 Freckles broke. Freckles broke. But you know what would be nice? A new toy. A new little really? puppet toy, yes. A new Freckles. I would love that. Well, I don't know if I would call her Freckles. How about a slender Freckles? Ooh, yes. Yes, that would be a fun toy. Yes, yes, yes. A new toy really does sound good. With the strings and everything. Yes. Oh, like the puppets. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. You're yes, the puppet thing yes, that you yes, know yes, the ring, yes, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> I would love that. Why yes. Don't you wish all the kids. 
whether they attended an APW birthday party or not, I wish them a Merry Christmas. Ooh, Say hello. Are they watching? Oh, they're watching. Oh, hello everyone. <laughs> you got to see me talk to my friend here, Santa Claus. And, and if you're lucky, he might bring you something too. So from all of us here at APW, happy holidays. Bye. Happy holidays. <laughs>